everyone, I'm Katrina and welcome to another installment of my Guide to Audiobooks series. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can get your hands on audiobooks, either for a reasonable price or even better, for free, since buying audiobooks themselves, especially physically, can be pretty damn expensive. I'm going to begin talking about some of the paid services, or rather subscriptions, where you can get your hands on audiobooks, because generally these have a much larger selection of audiobooks available. After that I will get into some of the ways that you can get them for free. The subscription services that I'm going to be highlighting today, the ones I'm talking about in a little more detail, are the ones that I personally have at least trialed, if not used frequently. The first one I'm going to be talking about is Audible. Out of all of these subscription services after the trial Audible is the one that I've continued purchasing. I've been subscribed to it for a couple of years now and the main reason for this is because of their selection. I think they have over 200,000 titles available and you can listen to audiobooks either on your computer or through their Audible app. Some of the features in this app which I find really helpful are the variable playback speed so you can speed up or slow down the narration. Uh, this is very handy if the narrator talks quite slowly and you want to speed things along a little bit and listen to that audiobook faster. There's also a sleep timer as well. If you are reading while you're going to bed, you can set a time after that point, it will stop playing the audiobook. So it doesn't actually keep on playing the audiobook for hours and hours until it finishes. And you're actually able to kind of go back to roughly where you dozed off and find your spot again. You're also able to skip either forwards or backwards 30 seconds, which is super useful if you find yourself getting distracted, which I do quite a lot. You can skip back in 30 second increments until a point where you remember what happened. These features aren't only in the Audible app. A lot of the ones I'm talking about today do have all of these features as well, but I just wanted to go in a little more detail when I first mentioned them. As for memberships, Audible does actually offer a couple of different types. The very basic one is the gold membership, which is $14.95 US dollars a month. And for this, you get one audiobook and you also are able to get 30% off any additional audiobooks that you want to buy. The platinum membership is $22.95 US dollars a month and that gives you two credits as well as that 30% discount and with these memberships you are able to also purchase them annually so you will get a slightly discounted price as well. Audible is one of the more expensive subscription services but one of the things I really like about them is that they frequently have sales or promotions going on. One of my favorites is when they do the promotion where you buy two audiobooks and get your third free so you can get three audiobooks for the price of two or two credits. They also occasionally do discounted prices of specific audiobooks. They do offer a 30-day free trial as well where you get one free credit to buy an audiobook of anything that you want. Um, I do have an affiliate link as well for that so I will leave a link to that below if you are interested. But if you do decide to cancel after the 30-day trial I know that you're still able to access that audiobook and continue listening to it. So that's a really handy thing to note. The next subscription I'm going to be talking about is Scribed. I'm not actually sure how many audiobook titles that Scribed has available. The only numbers I've been able to find talk about their total titles and that includes their ebooks and magazines and other documents and stuff like that so I'm not actually sure how many audiobooks they have on offer but I think it's quite a lot and you can listen to them either on your computer through their website or on your app as well. Because I no longer have a membership for Scribed I'm not able to go into the app and actually look at all of the features. If any of you do have a membership to Scribed and don't mind leaving a comment talking about some of the features that the app has especially in comparison to Audible, that would be super, super useful. Their membership cost is $8.99 US dollars a month, and I know that when they first started out, it used to be unlimited access to ebooks and audiobooks, but now you're able to access three ebooks and one audiobook each month with that subscription. And I do believe they have other documents and magazines which you have unlimited access to. Scribed also offers a monthly selection of books and audiobooks that you can access for free. So that's their Scribed Selects section the website so any of those that are listed you can get access to without actually paying anything as well which is a bonus. Scribed also has a 30-day free trial but if you cancel after those 30 days you don't actually have access to that audiobook that you purchased for free. That's why I'm not able to access the app and actually show you what the features are because it doesn't let me touch them anymore. The last service I'm going to be talking about is audiobooks from audiobooks.com. You can listen to these audiobooks either on your computer or through their app and some of the features include the variable playback speed and the sleep timer as well. 
well. The membership cost for this is $14.95 US dollars a month in which you receive one audiobook with that credit and they do also offer a 30-day free trial. Now this is the one I'm least familiar with so I'm not 100% sure what happens after the free trial if you're still able to access it or not I can't remember. Now these are not the only services available out there there's actually quite a lot if you go searching for it but the ones I've mentioned are the ones that I have actually tried but if any of these don't sound that great to you or you want to try something different I will include a list down below of some of the other services and ways that you can buy audiobooks. One of them that I can think of off the top of my head is I books but just having a look at the prices you actually buy the audiobooks and it seems like the cost is pretty much the same as if you'd bought a physical one because there's price ranging from like $13 to about $40 which is ouch. Now moving on to the free services. You're able to get audiobooks for free from your library. It's likely that they'll actually have some physical audiobooks that you can borrow so if you go into your library you should be able to borrow some of the CDs. I'm not sure if these are as popular now but you used to be able to get talking books which were actual devices with cartridges so it wasn't actually a CD. It's been a while since I've borrowed an audiobook from my library so I'm not sure if this is still around a lot but there's the talking books or CDs which you can obviously use to listen on your computer or when you're in the car. In addition to that your local library may also have digital audiobooks on offer to listen to through a variety of different apps. So what you do is you get that app and you connect your library account to that and then you're able to access the audiobook library and often ebook library as well which is a bonus. You will need to take a look at what apps your library uses so then you can download that and connect your account. Obviously since you are using your library you're only borrowing the books so you'll have it for a certain amount of time and that totally depends on your library as well. I know that my one has recently upped the borrowing time from two weeks to three weeks. The selection of audiobooks available as well is completely dependent on your library um, so it just depends which ones they have acquired and made available to you. So generally because the selection is a little more limited instead of having a certain audiobook in mind and searching to see if I have it I actually just go through the list of all the audiobooks that they have on offer and see which ones I'm interested in. If I do it the other way around then I'm typically disappointed. So there are two apps that you can connect with through your library that I'm going to be mentioning. The first one is Overdrive which I think is probably the most well known and this one you can listen to on your computer or through the app. The app also has the variable playback speed, the sleep timer and you're able to skip forward or backward in 15 second increments. The last app that I'm going to be talking about is Box, and this one is associated with Belinda Audio which is an audiobook publisher. I think a lot of the books that I have at least borrowed from my library I know have been published by Belinda and with this one you're only able to listen to it on the app. I don't think they have a computer platform for listening to audiobooks, at least not yet as far as I can find. So this one also has the standard features of variable playback speed and skipping in 30 second increments. So those are some of the apps that I personally have tried myself and would recommend if you're looking to start listening to audiobooks and I'm not sure where to begin. Definitely take a look at the list I've included in the description of this video as well for any additional apps and services in case none of those take your fancy. And if any of you know of any additional services that I haven't actually included them please please let me know so I can add that to the list as well so it makes it easier for everybody else to find them. But that is pretty much it for this video. I'm very curious to know how you like to get your audiobooks. Are you like me and spend that little extra money <laughs> going through Audible or is there another service that you prefer or are you more loyal to your library? Nevertheless I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. The next video that I'm going to be sharing in the Guide to Audiobook series is going to be talking about some of my favorite audiobooks. What I would recommend to you particularly if you're just starting out. But I will see you tomorrow with another video and until then I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye!